All right, assignment time. Now, if none of this convinces you that this is a freaking sweet program, this one will. Okay? The assignment is very simple. What I want you to do is add more to your level, and I want you to add the ability to have a lighted surface. So these things right here, these lights, are just floating here. But really, there should be like some kind of thing that emanates light. So you need to make a mesh. Let's say a mesh was hanging on the wall, a scone, or some kind of candle, or something like that. And have this hanging along with that mesh. That way it looks like the light is coming from the mesh. Now I can tell you I have the commercial version of Unity um, on my other comp computer. And then basically what happens is they watered down this version of Unity. So there's a thing called Dynamic Shadows. It's not in the free version. And it's the meanest thing I've ever seen because it's one of the best things I've ever seen. And it's located on every light. You see this shadow is grayed out. So you can't use dynamic shadows. Isn't that mean? That's so mean. That means if you had an object in here, uh, let's say a floor lamp, and you put this inside the floor lamp, it would cast a shadow from the floor lamp shade. <laughs> So you can see the importance of this. Again, that Unity training engine or training tutorial there on um, YouTube, I'll walk you through the process of texture baking so you can get around this. Okay, so um, another thing is let's look at how we're going to turn this in. This is the shock value of it. So let's go File, Build Settings, and I'm going to go in here and choose Web Player build and run in this folder I'm gonna make a folder called build create it and in here I'm going to name this index it's very important that you name it index so what did that do well let me show you now I have a folder called build and I'm going to ignore this and I'm going to show you how to get into that hold on um, build and here's index HTML if I double click here I am now in Firefox walking around my level okay now if that doesn't convince you how cool this is I don't know what it does I'll use this as an example. You just modeled a toy tank. Okay. You want to show that to a prospective person that could hire you. You bring it into the Unity game engine and put it in a room. And you have the ability to walk around it. Okay, so there we go. There's wouldn't that make a great portfolio piece to have the ability to take each and every one of your models that you work so hard on and being able to walk around it and that's one of the one reasons why I want to kind of introduce you to this stuff because I want you to start think, thinking outside the box when you present your work to people so um, here's something that I want to add unity web player index let's copy that Along with owning Unity, you get the ability to own this nifty little program called Unicron. Right click, open with Unitron. This thing is by far the Swiss Army knife of editing. I love it. So, what happens here is I'm going to just find that, hit next. And there it is. And I'm just going to type in Jason Welsh level one example. Okay, there we go. And let's save that. Okay, let's go back and refresh it. Oh. Looks like it's missing one. There's another one in here.
And this time, what I can do is copy this, put it here, replace all. File, save. And I always leave the created with Unity down there because I want them to get the idea that, you know, it was created inside a Unity game engine and they, they can go there and check it out and see how cool it is. There we go. There's a way to present your work. Very quick and easy. There's some tools available to you. There's some inspiration and all that good jazz. So your assignment is very simple. I want this folder. Okay, now. The last thing, how do you turn in a folder? I got some students that might not know that. Um, right click, compress with build. That's one way to do it. If you're on a PC, it's just right click, WinZip, add to zip file. And then I want you to rename this first name, last name, Unity. That way when I download them all, I can easily access them and unzip them. So if you threw this on a web server, you would easily have the ability to show everybody on the internet, put it in Facebook, put it anywhere you want, and show them the level. Okay. Again, I use Bluehost. It's just an easy place and it's very cheap, $6.95. I get no cuts from that. Um, it's just they've treated me right and I've been kicked out of a great deal of places over my time for having a little bit too much bandwidth. Uh, Bluehost has always treated me right there. So enjoy and have a good one. And until next chapter.